So, got my Mountain Dew, got my coffee. So, I should be, I should be good to go. So, I made my hole here just by uh, scribing a circle and drilling a bunch of holes with a little drill bit. And then I moved up to an eighth of a drill bit and drilled all those holes out. I removed most of the material, you know, and then it just broke out and I used my Dremel to clean it up, which was nice. It fits really well. It was just, fortunately, the two holes that were in here, here and here, were close enough that this is going to cover it. Um, I don't know why the guy wanted to turn his headlight off with this, you know, no lights at all, headlight on, fog lights on. Uh, I, I can see why he might want to turn it off once in a while, but to go through all this trouble for that, I don't, I don't get it. So when I fixed it, I made it so I can unplug my headlight if I need to, uh, if I want to have the battery on without the the headlight burning it up I can do that pretty easy just by down you know where the fuses are I can unplug it but well I saw a rust on here so I thought well I'll just take this out and clean it up and throw some paint at it while I got it apart but apparently that white piece of plastic you see in there wasn't made to withstand UV and it crumbled almost as soon as I started sanding this in now it's all it's all messed up so now I gotta wait I'm not gonna be able to do this part till I um, get a new gauge that's gonna fit in there so that's a bummer but what I am gonna do is got a new fuse I ripped out all the work that the previous guy had done it was pretty sloppy and irritating so I got a fuse I'm gonna get my charge port uh, reconnected and I'm gonna put one back in the in the in there that way like if my phone's dead and I want to leave it plugged in and have this you know always hot and not to the ignition switch I'll be able to lock my phone or whatever in there without worrying about it walking away. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to get that. I might go ahead and put this in and get it done and deal with this later if I have time. Uh, I also want to do a little bit of work on my trailer hitch. I really, really want to get that done in time for the January show and get my stuff registered. I'm considering taking this um, and have it turn on my extra lights just all of them on or all of them off and my charger uh, my 12 volt port I might make that continuously hot but be able to turn it off you know that way it doesn't always have voltage running to it in case I leave a charger plugged in or something phone charger um, I can turn it on and then my lights come on I think that's probably what I'm gonna do um, there are times where I wish my phone was charging when the, my ignition wasn't running and not necessarily wanting it back there that would be like if I was gonna leave it alone but um, I'll probably re reuse this I got another switch on the other side for each set of lights I got those little lights here and I had fog lights here these are rusting so I want to dechrome them and paint them but I'll probably just have these come on all the time with the headlight and uh, put these on on this switch so that you know I'll have the charger on and then the lights will come on and uh, but I don't want to do anything I don't want to have any of those lights run until I get LED bulbs um, in there because I don't want to stress the alternators probably the one biggest weak point uh, this bike is a alternator going bad and yeah someone said he replaced an alternator the wine not the windings but the stator um, 
without removing the engine. And I don't know. I don't know if that's true, but pretty much you have to drop the engine to do that. And I don't want to do that. I don't ever want to have to do that. So <laughs> I I gotta replace all my all my lights with LEDs to get the power consumption down and always make sure I got a good battery and regulator. So uh, that's what I'm gonna um, do today. I'll probably make another video today uh, showing what I've done and how I've done it. Uh, I make the videos with my phone until I get something like a GoPro. That's pretty much, I'm kind of limited how I can do it. I have a computer to edit videos, but it's getting video from my phone to a Linux box has been kind of uh, tricky. I haven't figured out how to do it yet. Uh, try emailing it, all, all kinds of things, and you run into, oh, this, is, this video is too big to go through your email, and it's just, it's, I wish uh, somebody would do uh, something about that, and maybe I just need to start programming again write my own stuff and make uh, at least Ubuntu Linux uh, Apple compatible if possible if Apple doesn't make it impossible but that's what I'm gonna do I'll make another video when I'm uh, finished to show you how I did it and how it's gonna how it's working out so thanks for watching if you like my videos please like them and share them and comment um, I have a GoFundMe to help me buy parts for my bikes and keep me on the road I'll put that link in the description if you'd like to help out and uh, thanks for watching